So I bought this. It's uh, kind of a support, I would say, industrial support. I cut so, some piece out of it. It was not going in. It was really near, but not even close. So grinding a little bit was kind of almost. But not yet. That's why I did the uh, machining. Got some loose. So that's the main bushings. So that's a few thousand of an inch. So I've machined two and this and four and this. So the diameter, inside diameter, is just under uh, one inch and a half inside. The outside diameter for this bushing is exactly two inches. On this one I was not really much centered because there's no material removed on this side and I did remove some this side. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be a rough assembly. Just need to have not too much play. I have to drill holes, 5A, in a half inch place to place two holes. So I'm going to use the milling tube. So this is what it looked like first, so I have some material to remove from the line. I could have cut it closer to this, but actually I was not seeing that. this is how it would work I have this uh, C channel there uh, this is the mark for the uh, middle of the uh, C channel I'm going to add this 2x4 it's 3 16 of an inch thick with a hole and that hole would be this bushing that would be welded all around 
so I get some good strength there. I'm going to add this pin, small pin, it's a inch and a half, something in that range. That will be the first bushing, going into this one. This third bushing, there's no, don't mind about this, this is, this is scrap stock, I don't mind about this. Like this way. Uh, those two bushings will work together and being weld on that piece, on this side, this side, like this. Oh, actually, this. And I just welded this uh, plate. So you can see there's uh, slotted holes. Don't look too much at the work there. This is my first time in the, on the milling doing an oblong hole and it was done by eye and whatever. This tab being welded on this plate, this is a half inch steel plate, is because the back of the blade is not perfectly straight. So I'm going to have the tab sitting there and the plate will be sitting with the tab here and here and those holes will match the slots where I will get a good surface surface of contact. I'm going to use other bolts than this. This trial, that would be it. So I feel I might be a little bit too low because on the adjustment and go up to well and go up to there easily so I'm kind of far from what I should be Range operation I will get. So this is not aimed to be adjusted while using it. Is just going to be a fixed adjustment for ons. I'm thinking about raising this to be able to weld there. That could be an idea. Maybe if I do add a 2x2 two two just behind this, I'm going to raise it a little bit more. Okay. That could be it. Yeah, that's what I will be doing. So I'm going to weld those two bushings right there on those two sides. Okay, that's straight. Straight from the edge. This one is straight with the edge of the table and it's center into the bushing. So the bushing at the center is going to be weld. Okay, it goes roughly at this position, I bolted roughly uh, uh, this position. I'm going to weld this uh, 2x4 on the 2x2, two two, uh, the one I cut uh, earlier. And after that, when everything is okay, I'm going to um, make the full weld all around with the uh, C channel at the bottom and we'll be ready for a trial. I'm also going to make some 
gusset in between. Okay, I did the fold well, so I'm going to use those carriage bolt so they will not turn inside and still uh, be able to uh, hang on the sides I don't like that much that the uh, thread was taken inside of the, the uh, flow but actually it's not going to be a uh, use that much I should have bought uh, flow bolts flow bolts are going to fit in these holes uh, those ones are not meant for this this is why I'm going to uh, use them reversed so I got the uh, stopper welded on this side this is what I was missing I did a chamfer on all the uh, at the end of the shaft Now the trick is engaging this. The other side, we're going to lift the pin, but if the uh, pin just swivel, it might catch this. I should make some um, opening so we make sure that this one is not going to uh, stick in that opening.
this side guides and I should adjust this uh, the A it's adjustable so that I'm not too far down I'm going also to make a rigid upper link because I sometimes have some difficulty with the uh, uh, rear wheel going into the valleys and bumps and transmitting this uh, pattern so having the third link rigid might just make it uh, on the ground and keep uh, the same angle so that's what I'm, I would be going to do and after that I do a second trial which you will be able to see So I found this piece of uh, square tubing, it's inch and a quarter, and I have this one which is inside seamless, so uh, this is why I designated like a hitch, um, it's um, inside, the weld is not taking any, uh, there's no uh, apparent weld inside, which is a inch and a half. And this, this is a pretty much good fit, not too tight, just perfect. So I put hooks or holes at the both sides and pins for quick adjustable. 